All right, so I'm at home and I'm planning out for next week and I have a small problem. There, we're basically out of art supplies. Now, not to say that I'm not the best planner, but 500 students per week, we're coming up with a lot of things that we're doing with what we're doing. And sometimes things just start to get used up really fast. So I have paint, I have clay, and the thing about being an art teacher and getting into clay is once you get into it, you don't really want to get out of it because you're just cleaning up a lot of different dusty clay crazy things over and over. So once you're kind of in that mode, it's easier to just stay in the mode of clay. I'm being held captive against my whip. <laughs> Shut up. My favorite class. Mm, I like. Mm, I like. I like science. Oh my god! What's your favorite special class? Gym and uh, and art. What do you like about art? That we get to. Art. It's okay, I think, and I think you have to let go of the idea that you're going to go through some amount of materials and use up things without, you're going to waste some stuff, that's what I'm trying to say. And I think that's one of the hardest things as a creative, as an artist, is when you just kind of have to open up a pack of something new, get it out, see what happens. Not everything is a masterpiece. You have this certain amount of churn that you go through, and it's a real kind of struggle to know exactly where everything's going to come from and what to use each week. And actually, I'm on my way to the art supply store right now to look for some cool different new supplies, new markers, different things I haven't tried before. So here we go. All right, successful trip to the art supply store. now okay <laughs> what's your name three huh what's, what's your name my name is Mateo Jones I'm 34 anyways continuing on I got a question for you what what if you're 34 then what are you doing in Vanderbilt so uh, I got held back how many times 
12. Man, okay, continue on. And, and I came here when I was 24. <laughs>